religious power. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Scott, and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And if you look at my sweaty shirt, you can tell that it is a very hot and humid day today. <laughs> uh, so today we are going to do some tests with some books. We're gonna use a Desert Eagle 50 AE and a few other calibers. I have this book and several other books on our table back here, and we're just gonna do a few tests. Our first test is gonna involve this book. It's pretty thick. It's about three inches thick, give or take. We're gonna shoot this book with a Desert Eagle 50 AE and we're gonna see if we make it through it, which I'm guessing we're gonna make it through it. Uh, after that, I'm gonna put a ballistics gel block behind it and we're gonna see how far we make it into that block after we go through the book. All right, here's our Desert Eagle chambered in 50 AE. We've got it loaded up with some Underwood 300 grain hollow points. Now let's see if we can make it through this book. All right, just as I thought, that sliced through that book like a hot knife through butter. So now let's put a ballistics gel block behind it and see how far we make it into the block after we pass through the book. All right, let's check out our results. So blasted right through the book. We've got pieces of paper shoved into the ballistics gel and you can even see it in there it pushed it all the way into the gel block and uh, guys I made a mistake I forgot to bring a tape measure but we know this is a 16 inch block and I would say about right there is half so it'd be about eight inches so we'll say that it went about eight to ten inches into the block after passing through the book. So I cut the block open because I wanted to show you all this paper that was pushed into the block from that bullet. Check that out. Look at all that. So now I've got several books set up. Uh, they're not all the same size, so we're not consistent in our book thickness, but we have several books set up. Let's see how many it's gonna take to stop this Desert Eagle. So we had three pretty thick books up front, and it looks like they stopped it. So we went through one, Two, and it looks like we stopped in the third. That's not bad. Now, see, so we we got the bullet out right here at page one hundred three, but. We ripped pages all the way to page 107. We'll say about 407. So now let's see if a book could stop a bullet out of a few handguns that are smaller than 50 AE. We're gonna start out with 45 ACP out of our 1911, and then we're gonna move down to nine millimeter and then 22 long rifle. So that was a 230 grain full metal jacket. Went through the front and out the back. We're gonna set the same book up, shoot it again, but this time we're gonna use a nine millimeter, 124 grain full metal jacket out of our Canic TP9SF. So there's where the nine millimeter hit and it blew through the back. So now let's try one more handgun Let's shoot it with a 22 long rifle out of our Smith & Wesson Victory. Let's go with right... Uh, let's do that. Let's 
So here's with the 22 hit, and it went through the back. So if a 22 long rifle out of a handgun will make it through a book, a book probably isn't going to stop anything. You know, I normally wouldn't do this, but due to recent events, I'm going to look you right in the eye, and I'm going to tell you, do not try anything you've seen in this video or any of my other videos ever. <laughs> so, question of the day. Today's question is related to firearm safety. I want to know, and you're probably not going to be honest, but I'm going to ask you anyways, have you ever had a negligent discharge of your firearm? Don't be shy. It's happened to a lot of people. I really want to hear your stories. And I'll, I have a story, and I'll leave it in the comment section down below here in about two or three days. Uh, but I really want to know, have you ever accidentally discharged your firearm? So leave your answers in the comment section down below. I want to hear what you have to say. Before we end the video, I want to give Underwood Ammo a special thanks for supplying us with ammunition for today's video. I really appreciate their support of the channel. And if you want to check them out, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to their website. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, make sure you hit that little bell. It will give you notifications when we upload new videos. And we upload new videos every week. Also, if you like today's video, share it. Share it with a friend. That way more people see it and more people come over and visit Kentucky Ballistics. If you like my shirt and you want to pick up a shirt, there's a link in the description down below that will take you to our shop. Also, links in the description down below that will take you to our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't forget to check us out over there, too. Once again, my name is Scott. You're watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.